This video is going to give a precise idea about the structure and working of PID controller. However before going into details, let us get an introduction about PID controllers. PID controllers are found in a wide range of applications for industrial process control. Approximately 95% of the closed-loop operations of industrial automation sector use PID controllers. PID stands for Proportional Integral Derivative. These three controllers are combined in such a way that it produces a control signal. Before microprocessors were invented PID control was implemented by the analog electronic components. But today all PID controllers are processed by the microprocessors. Programmable logic controllers also have the inbuilt PID controller instructions. Due to the flexibility and reliability of the PID controllers, these are traditionally used in process control applications. Working of PID controller With the use of low-cost simple on-off controller only two control states are possible, like fully on or fully off. It is used for limited control application where these two control states are enough for process control. However oscillating nature of this control limits its usage and hence it is being replaced by PID controllers. PID controller maintains the output such that there is zero error between process variable and set point desired output by closed loop operations. PID uses three basic control behaviors that P. Controller Proportional or P. Controller gives output which is proportional to current error. It compares desired or set point with actual value or feedback process value. The resulting error is multiplied with proportional constant to get the output. If the error value is zero, then this controller output is zero. This controller requires biasing or manual reset when used alone. This is because it never reaches the steady state condition. It provides stable operation but always maintains the steady state error. Speed of the response is increased when the proportional constant Kc increases. I controller. Due to limitation of P controller where there always exists an offset between the process variable and set point, I controller is needed, which provides necessary action to eliminate the steady state error. It integrates the error over a period of time until error value reaches to zero. It holds the value to final control device at which error becomes zero. Integral control decreases its output when negative error takes place. It limits the speed of response and affects stability of the system. Speed of the response is increased by decreasing integral gain I. In above figure, as the gain of the I controller decreases, steady state error also goes on decreasing. For most of the cases, PI controller is used particularly where high speed response is not required. While using the PI controller, I controller output is limited to somewhat range to overcome the integral wind up conditions where integral output goes on increasing even at zero error state, due to nonlinearities in the plant. D controller I controller doesn't have the capability to predict the future behavior of error. 
so it reacts normally once the set point is changed. D controller overcomes this problem by anticipating future behavior of the error. Its output depends on rate of change of error with respect to time, multiplied by derivative constant. It gives the kickstart for the output thereby increasing system response. PID controller response. In the above figure response of D controller is more, compared to PI controller and also settling time of output is decreased. It improves the stability of system by compensating phase lag caused by I controller. Increasing the derivative gain increases speed of response. Trial and error method, it is a simple method of PID controller tuning. While system or controller is working, we can tune the controller. In this method, first we have to set KI and KD values to zero and increase proportional term, KP, until system reaches to oscillating behavior. Once it is oscillating, adjust KI, integral term, so that oscillation stops and finally adjust D to get fast response. PID controller structure.